Welcome to Electron Online. Here we are continuing with the process of taking a random sample and then trying to infer something about the population. In the previous video, we did that by taking a random sample, finding out that the, uh, well, taking a sample of 100, so the sample size was 100, and let's assume that the, the mean of the sample was equal to 10. Then, what we assumed is that the error could be one more than 10 or one less than 10 as far as the mean of the population. So, we assumed that we're going to set the population mean somewhere between the mean of the, of the sample plus one and the mean of the sample minus one. And then we try to figure out what is our level of confidence that that is actually correct. And when we calculated it, we came out with 90.32% confidence level that the mean of the population was somewhere between 9 and 11. The mean of the sample plus 1 and the mean of the sample minus 1. So that's what we did in the last video. In this video, we're going to turn things around. What we're going to do is we're going to assume a confidence level, let's say a 95% confidence level, and we're going to use a two-tailed example, which means that the remaining is 5%. That's the level of significance. And we divide it in two to get 2.5% two on the high end and 2.5% on the low end. So what we need to do then is we find the corresponding z-scores for the boundary of the critical area at the high end and the z-score for the boundary of the critical area on the low end, and that ends up being 1.96 on the high end and negative 1.96 on the low end. So we now want to calculate what we call the maximum error of estimate. And we use the letter E for that. So we'll go ahead and we use the letter E for that. And E can be calculated by taking the z-score, which we determine by setting the level of confidence and then multiplying that times the standard error. Now, the standard error, by definition, is the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size of the sample. So in this case, we found z to be 1.96, which is determined by setting the confidence level at 95% and dividing the remaining 5% in the upper and the lower end. So we use a table then to figure out 47.5% gives us a z-value of 1.96, essentially. So then we take the z-value and multiply times the standard deviation, which was a given. So in this case, we're still going to give you the standard deviation of the population. Later on in the next chapter, we're not going to do that. We also have to figure out the standard deviation. And then divide that by the square root of the sample size, which we set to be 100. So 6 divided by the square root of 100 is 0.6. Multiply times 1.96 gives us 1.176. This is what we call the maximum error of estimate. Notice that's a little bit bigger than the error of estimate that we had before. We set it at plus 1 and minus 1. Here we set it at plus 1.176 and minus 1.176. So what we're saying is that at 95% confidence level, I know that the sample size represents the mean of the sample, represents the mean of the population plus 1.176 and minus 1.176. In other words, we're 95% confident that the mean of the population falls somewhere between 8.824 and 11.176 if the sample mean is 10, and we want to know the confidence, the, the range of values that the population mean can have up to 95% confidence level. And this is the range of the values that the population mean will be at. So we're 95% sure that the population mean will be between those two values, given that we took a sample of 100 with a sample mean of 10. And that's how we in interpret the maximum error of estimate based upon the confidence level that's chosen, and based upon the confidence level that's chosen, we find the z-score of the edges of the critical regions. Then we take that z-score, we multiply times the standard error, which is the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size, and that gives us the range of values that we can expect the mean of the population to be with 95% certainty. And that is how it's done.